Hi guys, I'm Dr. Suri, and today I want to talk to you guys about iron deficiency anemia. Did you guys know that iron deficiency anemia is the most common type of anemia? Now, iron is present in a ton of food that we eat on a daily basis, and while we try our best to give our kids a well-balanced diet, sometimes it always doesn't go well. So here are five ways to prevent nutritional anemia or iron deficiency anemia in your children. Number one, if your child is less than one year old, please don't give them cow's milk. Cow milk can actually cause gut irritation and lining irritation and inflammation and blood loss, which can then worsen their anemia. Number two, breast milk does not have iron in it. Formula does have iron in it. Regardless if your baby is breastfed or formula fed, between ages of four and six, your pediatrician will recommend that your baby start a multivitamin drop with iron. This is because around this age is when their natural iron stores plummet. So we want to make sure that they have everything that they need. We also will recommend starting some iron fortified grains and cereals as well as purees. Number three, if your kiddo is greater than one years old, you can now start cow's milk, but remember, don't overload on it. Don't give them more than 24 ounces a day. This is because there's a cow milk protein that does get in the way of iron absorption. Number four, try to make sure your kiddo is getting a well-balanced diet with food items that are rich in iron. So what are some examples of those? Well, our obvious leafy green vegetables, potatoes and tomatoes, beans, dried fruit. Now, some examples of animal products that have iron are egg yolk and red beets. And lastly, five, make sure your kids are getting a lot of citrus in their diet, so vitamin C. Why vitamin C? Turns out vitamin C is actually great for iron absorption and enhances the absorption of iron, especially for certain forms of iron that can be a little bit difficult to absorb. So examples of that are actually leafy green vegetables. Now, we will test your baby's iron at two points um, over the course of their visits with us, at the nine-month visit and the two-year visit. And why is that? So the American Academy of Pediatrics recommends that we screen for anemia at these two visits because it turns out in the first one to two years is when the most development happens, but that's also the greatest risk factor for anemia. Now, after your kiddo turns two, we will test for hemoglobin only on a case-by-case -case basis. And what we say, if we have a clinical suspicion, so if your kiddo is showing signs of anemia. Now, what do the numbers mean? So ideally, we want that hemoglobin level above 11. If your child's hemoglobin level is between 10 and 11, your pediatrician may recommend doing multivitamin drops with iron daily or at a higher dosage. If your kiddo's hemoglobin level is less than 10, they will recommend doing iron supplements at a higher dosage and returning in four weeks to check. Now, keep in mind that this hemoglobin check is a finger poke, so that is how we screen for, uh, for anemia, but there are certain cases where we may want to draw a blood test as well. Well, I'm going to get off my soapbox now, and hopefully you guys found this tip helpful. If you guys have any other questions or concerns, feel free to reach out to the office.